Well, I think I'll cook some tacos today. For me and Kay, some Beyond Meat tacos, and uh, which are very delicious. So I'm gonna cook them now. So I got the uh, Beyond Meat cooking now in the skillet. Mind you, it's not meat, it's just uh, vegetables. But it tastes like hamburger meat. So I'll let that cook. Well, here's the finished product. A taco, I fold it, eat it like that, and a burrito. All made from plant-based food. I'm getting ready to eat it up and tear it up right now. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Boy, the burrito sure tastes good. Mmm. Delicious. Mess it up. What is going on? What were all those bodies? The taco was good, too. Well, you guys, I'm thinking about taking me a trip. But I'm a little undecided on where I want to go. Yeah, it's either Thailand, which I have a friend there. He uh, he goes back and forth. He comes up to Los Angeles for about two or three months, and he goes back home. And he invited me to his home, said it was safe there. But I heard so much negative things about Thailand. I, you know, I don't know what to believe. I tend to believe him. He's from Thailand. But you never know, because they got their bad apples everywhere. Or Japan. Or Korea. Now, I know in Korea, they got North and South Korea. And I remember my uncles were in the war with, with North Korea. In the 1950s, they used to always tell me all kinds of stories about how it was back there during the war time. As a matter of fact, they encouraged me to go to the military, so I'd come out with a honorable discharge, which I did. But they're right next to each other. I mean, I don't want no bomb to come over. There's all kind of weird things going through my mind. <laughs> I don't know what to believe or what to, you know. But I know they're, they're at war. One's a communist country, another was not. South Korea is not. We got a lot of business interests in South Korea. A lot of uh, a lot of South Koreans come here to go to universities and stuff like that. And I really haven't heard two bad things about that. Just I know the, the North is on the other side, and uh, and I don't think I'll be near the demilitarized zone. Either that or Japan. Now, I don't know if any of, you, any of my viewers have ever been to any one of those countries, but if you've been to several of them, can you drop me a comment, let me know how they are or what you suggest I should do or go first. Kay said she'll, she'll uh, said I can go and uh, for a couple of weeks or something like that, but I, I doubt it because she wants to go with me everywhere. So... We still got to talk about that and get that straight. But uh, I just want to visit another country. Now, Philippines, I've been there about six times now. and That's an Asian country, but I want to go to uh, Thailand. There's people say I should go to Thailand, and there's people say I should go to uh, Japan. Uh, Kate got relatives there in Japan or, you know, Korea. And I also thought about uh, Vietnam. But I'd like to visit another uh, Asian country and really see the culture. But I, lo I love learning different people's culture and stuff like that and see how it is. But uh, I'm just a little undecided. If I can hear back from you guys, give me a, just a, drop me a few lines, let me know what you think about any country, if you've been there. I want someone that's been there that can tell me how it is. Is there a lot of racism? 
Now, in the Philippines, I never encountered any racism at all. I mean, the people there welcome me. I don't care who it is. They're friendly with me. They speak all the time, smile all the time. Even though I'm, I know the country is a third world country and it's a very poor country, some people, either, either you're poor or you're rich. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just uh, undecided right now. Kay can't give me no advice because she's never been anywhere. I mean, she's uh, she's from Philippines, but she ha hardly ever left her street. <laughs> you know, going to school and come home, going to school and come home. So she tells me. Even cities that are close by, she's never been there. So uh, I can't ask her. She doesn't know. But she'd like to check them out like me, too. But she's working now, so I don't know if she'll be able to get a vacation or not. Whenever I go, I really, I really want to go when uh, not doing the rainy season, not doing the typhoon season. Oof, no way. I mean, that's a year th yearly thing. I won't even go to the Philippines during the typhoon season. They tear up property, they tear up businesses, they tear up homes, they have these landslides every year. That's why I don't know why they won't do anything about it. What's wrong with the government? Why do they won't do anything? I mean, it's every year they should build roads, build uh, infrastructure, build that up. So, I don't know. I hope Marcus Boom Boom Jr. do something about that. But anyway, that's my, my dream. Now, I'm going to the Hajj, Saudi Arabia. I'm going there. I'm going there, uh, I don't know when, but I'm, I'm going there at least once in my lifetime. See how that is. But I'm really undecided where I want to go first and uh, see if my wife Kate wants to go with me. I know she does, but if she can get away. If she, does, if she can't get away, she already gave me her blessings to go ahead and go. You know, I'll see. Now I saw vlogs, uh, different vlogs about people that been, went to Thailand and uh, Japan. And uh, and Korea. Some of them were good. Some of them were, weren't so good, you know. But that just that person's experience. But I like to listen to different people's advice. A vlogger goes there. I mean, most vloggers that travel go there to make money, or get a whole lot of subscribers and stuff like that. Cause they, they can make money. But I I'm I'm already making money. I I, I don't really don't need to you know, go there just to, or travel just to subscribe and make money. But I, uh, I uh, would like to make money, of course, anybody would. And I like uh, people to subscribe to my channel. By trade, I'm a, I'm a photographer, I'm a welder, I'm a musician, and an actor. And I do a little police work. So anyway, you know, I like people's different advice, di people's different feedback on um, on certain things, you know. And this is when I appreciate you guys' feedback. If you can uh, give me some advice. Anyway, which one would you think I should, which, which country do you think I should travel first? Japan or uh, Korea? Or Thailand. Will they welcome blacks there as much as they do here in the Philippines? I don't know. Most of the bloggers that I see going to different countries are white. But uh, drop me a line and let me know what do you think. I would appreciate that a whole lot. You guys have a great day. And subscribe to my channel, please. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Ring the bell for future notifications.